At this noon time, your local election headquarters is tracking elections across our area for you today with races making history. Fall Rivers embattled Jaza Correa is still on the ballot, even though he bowed out of that race. Two women are competing in Taunton today for votes to become the city's mayor there. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt has been tracking developments at the polls today. In fact, he just spoke with both candidates in Taunton. He's joining us live there. Hey, Brian, good afternoon. Well, as you mentioned, a lot of elections in our area today, but there's something about the energy here in Taunton. Both of the candidates out and about trying to get some last minute votes here. But no matter the outcome, this election will be historic. It's exciting in Taunton. People are really excited about this race. After months of campaigning, you know, I feel really good about today. The door knocks, debates, and handshakes come down to this. It's a very important election. The next person that, you know, is sitting in this seat, it's they have a lot of responsibility. History will be made in Taunton, the city electing its 50th mayor. The first time that person will be a woman. Today is an important day in Taunton. You have an important decision to make. Republican State Representative Shauna O'Connell says she's the one for the job running against the Democratic candidate, City Councilwoman Estelle Borges. Both women growing up in Taunton say they have been listening to voters. And they are really looking for some, some wholesale change. They want someone who is going to keep the promises that have been made to them for years and years and years but not been delivered on. And I'm that person that has been involved with all of the local issues. I'm involved with the contract negotiations, every single thing that's happening in this city. No matter who wins, history is being made. Taunton's more than 35,000 registered voters deciding what direction the city will go. And we were talking about the rain. It's been on and off throughout the morning, but despite it, we've seen a pretty steady stream of people coming out to vote. Polls here in Taunton open until 8 o'clock tonight. We're live in Taunton. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News. Brandon, our thanks to you. Providence also holding a special election today for the city council seat for Ward 10, Lower South Providence in Washington Park. Democrat Pedro Espinal is set to go head to head with independent Jeffrey Lemire. The seat opened up earlier this year after former council president Louis Aponte resigned. Aponte pleaded no contest to one count of felony embezzlement back in July. East Greenwich and North Kingstown also holding special referendum votes. In East Greenwich, residents there will vote on a school improvement bond and a sewer improvement bond. North Kingstown Town residents, they're voting on town hall and city park improvements and whether the town can lease out land for a renewable energy project. Stay with Eyewitness News, your local election headquarters. You can find a variety of resources and information on the candidates, as well as where to find your own polling place. And then, of course, the results after the polls close tonight. It's all on the WPRI 12 News app and at WPRI.com right now.